Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My channel is on systems engineering for professionals who would like to uh, take a professional exam and would like to get more information on how to approach for um, for the, these professional exams. I will be giving a brief introduction video in which uh, I will explain what the systems engineering concept is and then provide you some uh, insights into different professional exams. In my following videos, you will be uh, looking at how to register to one of uh, the uh, exam that I mainly will be um, preparing for and um, logging throughout my channel. So this is one of the famous code. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I feel that this code is really uh, correlated to the systems engineering concepts because if you do not design the system appropriately, it can cause um, significant impact to the mankind. So in this video, particularly, we will be looking at what is the systems engineering, where are these applications in which fields, and why do you need a professional exam, which PE exam should we take, um, if your area of interest is different, probably you can search specific to those area of uh, discipline as well. But um, I, as I said, I will be focusing only on one particular exam uh, throughout my channel. So uh, what is systems engineering? Systems engineering is a blueprint for designing and uh, pro uh, developing uh, any product. It's a interdisciplinary field where systems engineer works with uh, several expert domains. It includes mechanical, electrical, manufacturers, and um, any other um, expert disciplines. Systems engineer takes the customer needs and they translate into requirements. They define the requirements at a system level in their development stage. They document these requirements and also pro. Um, uh, they synthesize and validate the systems. So depending on the project scope and uh, project um, mem team members itself, uh, how many uh, activities a systems engineer works on also varies. We will be looking at a very specific level through uh, other videos of my channel. But in this, I'm just giving a high level. So as a systems engineer, um, he or she must consider the risks, timing, cost um, related to that developed solution. And um, there are also sometimes um, manufacturing constraints that requires the technical concept to be revised. And when a system is all, uh, all completed and it goes into manufacturing, it also has a disposal. So the systems engineer must uh, consider those requirements too. So where are these systems engineering being applied? So there are several uh, several domains we can see. Um, these are widely in the automotive industry, aerospace, military systems, and uh, e-commerce. So why take a professional exam? There are several benefits to these, and I've listed some of them. Uh, it will help you go uh, get through the interviews uh, if and also uh, be more confident in your job. The exam summarizes um, pretty simply uh, it, the study material and everything will provide you so much guidance that it will help you ease of work during your day-to-day -day life. And uh, you will be becoming an expert at, at in your domain. Obviously, that's one uh, big leap in your career. And the final thing is uh, higher compensation which obviously comes because um, you are going to seek for more better opportunities and you uh, show the proof that you are certified systems engineer. So in this slide, we are looking at some of the various um, systems engineering exams, but uh, is, uh, some of these actually have multidisciplinary. So they have more than one I've listed. So please go and check uh, what they actually are offering um, but based on my research course is very um, popular for systems engineering disciplines uh, who could be just started as a systems engineer or a 
student who is going to start uh, this career uh, it it is also appropriate for people who are a mid level in systems engineer and want to take a more advanced or professional certification in their field so um the other one is um an ces uh, the, this one i looked up is more of a control system domain so if you are working in that control system domain it is more uh, reasonable to take this kind of exam because it will guide you through the uh, technical concepts of those so uh, the other one we have is a microsoft certified systems engineering exam this one is uh, more of a it uh, domain so if you think you are falling in that uh, relevant field uh, so please go and find the relevant exam uh, for you guys to take uh, that's all i have for this video uh, in my upcoming video i will be introducing you guys about uh, in course exam uh, asap is the uh, exam that i'm planning to take and i will be vlogging all those um, summary concepts and my preparation uh, i'll walk you through uh, my experience if you like my content uh, uh, please uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel share share this for, with your friends or colleagues um, i hope you good luck for your career thanks for